Good morning. He's a county executive who does it all. <laughs> My name is Rashad Taylor. I've got the privilege and honor of serving as the CEO this year for Matt Myers' inaugural committee. Thank you. And I want to welcome everyone this morning to the swearing-in ceremony. I'd like to invite to the stage now uh, Rabbi Michael Beals from Congregation Beth Shalom. He'll be followed by the presentation of colors from the Newcastle County Police Department, and that will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. James Dingwall and Ms. Naledi Gordy. Thank you. Before I begin my formal invocation, I found out something really wonderful. First of all, this is called a Shehechianu moment in the Jewish faith, which means, thank God I made it to this moment alive. And I found out, not only is it Matt Meyer's inauguration day, but it's the 64th anniversary of his mother's bat mitzvah. And that was at a time before women normally had bat mitzvahs, which means Matt comes from good stock. His mom was way ahead of time, and so is the son. And so we say at a moment like this, Baruch atad anai eloheinu melech olam shehech yanu v'kimanu v'hig yanu lazman hazet. And you can say Amen. But those weren't my formal remarks. Now I'll begin. Heavenly Parent, you have always guided people of faith with light. For the Muslims, you have guided them with the Holy Quran, where it is written, God is the light of the heavens and the earth. For Buddhists, Hindus, Sikhs, and Jains, you have blessed them with the joyous Indian holiday of Diwali, the festival of lights. For Christians, in the darkest time of the year, near the winter solstice, you have bestowed upon them Christmas, where they celebrate their light of the world through the birth of Jesus. For African Americans, you've inspired them with the lit candles of Kwanzaa. And dearest God, for us Jews, just two days ago, you allowed us to complete the lighting of eight candles to complete our own festival of lights, Hanukkah, where 2,000 years ago, in ancient Judea, a small band of men and women called the Maccabees joined together with your help and against all odds beat back the darkness of tyranny so that religious freedom might triumph. These are indeed dark times and today wet times as well. Not only because we are in the depth of winter with its short days and even longer cold nights, our Newcastle County has so many challenges from gun violence to drug addiction from broken families to mass incarceration shaped by racial inequality, from challenged schools to underemployment, from recidivism to poverty. The list of challenges is indeed long and my list is incomplete. But there is a Yiddish saying which goes that you beloved God never bring the disease without also bringing the cure. There is a wonderful light, your light, dear God, glowing in our newly elected Newcastle County Executive, Matt Meyer. But his light alone will not solve our county's problems. He is like the shamash or the servant candle on the Hanukkah menorah. In order for the Hanukkah menorah to work, the lit shamash must have other candles to light, light adds to light, adds to light, adds to light, until all the candles glow in unison. And if working together with Matt, we can find solutions to these problems, perhaps, just perhaps, our light from Newcastle County can shine through all of Delaware, and from Delaware to all the other states in the Union, perhaps, do we dare to dream from our house all the way to the White House? Perhaps working with Matt Meyer, benevolent God, you will allow us to bring new meaning to the Hebrew biblical phrase that we should be an or legoyim, 
a light unto the nations. Dear God, let each of us be that light, no matter our religion or our race or our gender identity or our nation of birth or our political party affiliation. Let us discover the divine light you implanted in each and every one of us made in your divine image and let our light join with Matt Meyer and his administration's light so that not alone, but together we might create such a blaze of light, so strong, so bright, so powerful that it shines right clear up to heaven. With your help, master of the universe, may we work together as a team with new Castle County Executive Matt Meyer to put light in dark places, bringing hope to all. And let us all say, Amen. Everyone will please stand. I'd like to bring up Mr. James Dingwall and then Levy Gordy to lead us in the national anthem. dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave I'd like to thank Mr. Oliver Coker, who led us in the National Anthem, who's a paramedic here in Newcastle County, and actually had to get back to work saving lives this morning, so we want to thank him for his service. And now I'd like to welcome to the stage the President of the County Council, Karen hartley Nagel, to introduce the members of County Council who are here this morning, as well as Mr. Michael Atkins, who will introduce other elected officials who joined us this morning. Hi, I want to thank you for coming this morning, and I want to start by thanking the people of Newcastle County 
for all their votes that elected Matt and I to office. I would next like to thank each one of you for being here today and celebrating with us because we are so excited. And I hope you are as excited as we are. Can I have a hand for how excited you are? That's exactly how Matt and I feel. And I know every member of County Council feels the same way. I will begin by uh, asking them each one to stand. We have Councilman Cartier. Thank you. Next, we have Councilman Weiner. Please stand. Thank you. Next, we have Councilman Bell. Please stand. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Next is Councilwoman Diller. Thank you. Next is Councilwoman Kilpatrick. Thank you. And last we have, but most important, we have um, Councilman Sheldon. And in the back we have Councilman Smiley. Can you please raise your hand? Thank you, Councilman. And Councilman Woods. Thank you, Councilman. I would next like to say a few words about Matt. I met Matt the first time at a, it was a meeting um, on diversity. And after the meeting, which was, you know, a little bit, um, it was interesting. There was a lot of opinion shared at that meeting. But afterwards, Matt went and shook each person's hand. And there was a couple children there. And as I'm watching him, and I stood in the back of the room, because I hadn't met this gentleman yet, but I was going to introduce myself. I see a little girl of about four come up to him. And without even hesitating, as she choked on his leg and lifted up her arms, he just picked her up and held her as he continued to go around and shake hands and talk to people. And I thought that was so special. He made that the little girl feel special, didn't hesitate. That was his nature. That told me something about Matt. But then after that meeting, as everybody was leaving, he stayed behind and he helped everybody put the chairs. There was about 50 chairs. He helped fold them up and put them against the wall. That told me another thing about Matt Meyer. He was a doer, he was inclusive, but he was also willing to get his hands dirty. He was willing to cooperate with people and he loved people. That was really important to me if, and because you know I'm running for president and council and I'm gonna be working with Matt. I need to know who this man is. And I wanted someone that cared, someone that was compassionate, someone that understood people and listened to people. And that's what I saw in Matt. I saw Matt in the rain, as we were at events, standing in the rain and shaking hands. I saw Matt on the hottest days. And it, believe me, this summer it got hot, knocking on doors, going to events, standing outside from morning to night, and then I'd see him get on his bike and ride home. I thought, oh my God, this guy is, is amazing. How, you know, he has the energy to ride to and from everywhere in a bike in the city. And I thought, you know, this guy is, he is a very unique person. And I wanted him to win so much, so much, because he was going to bring to Newcastle County a different type of government. We wanted to see, and we are seeing, the dawn of a new day. Even though it's raining outside today, we are seeing the dawn of a new day in Newcastle County politics. And Matt and I, even though we may not agree on everything, we agree on a lot. And as I listened to what was important to Matt, transparency, accountability, these were things that we had in common that we were gonna focus on. Good government, inclusiveness, and being fair. That's what I saw in Matt, and I know that he is going to bring that to this county, and I know that we're going to work together on this. So whether we might disagree on an issue, we, will, we, we both, as I see it, have the same vision. And that's what I heard consistently from Matt. We had the same vision for Newcastle County, to make sure our parks are better, our libraries are better, that we have economic development here, that we are focused on bringing companies here, creating jobs. These are things that are important to the people in Newcastle County, to restore the public trust again. And I am so grateful 
so incredibly grateful that Matt Meyer is going to be, and is today, our next county executive. Good morning. I'd like to officially welcome the elected officials here today. We have Recorder of Deeds, Mike Kazakowski. City Councilwoman Rashida Dixon. Former County Executive Dennis Greenhouse. Register of Will Sierra Poppy. And Wilmington Mayor elect Mike Perticki. Are there any other elected officials that are here in attendance today? Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you very much. And I'd like to invite to the stage uh, Pastor Pravi Powell of Mount Joy United Methodist Church, who will offer a prayer for our county. And I want to invite to the stage Father Roger DeBuo from St. Elizabeth and Seton Roman Catholic Church, who will provide a prayer for our children. Good morning, everyone. I would like to take liberty, as Rabbi Bill has done, just to share briefly some remarks before I pray. I wanted to just uh, share a short story. Back in 2001, there was an, a horrific event that occurred in the city of Wilmington on 4th and Market Streets shooting of little Damon Gist, the five-year-old boy that was caught in a crossfire. Uh, he was killed and as a result the community was riveted and as a result of that response some clergy community members came and started to strategize and mobilize and organize and uh, we developed uh, some conferences to really deal with the issues of gun violence those individuals continue to meet ongoing and decided that we wanted to formulate a organization and we called it the Stop the Violence Organization, the Stop the Violence Coalition Inc. Uh, we were challenged with formulating and so I was really a, a founder so I started to make calls and couldn't find anyone to help and assist us to get a 501c3 designation called the Criminal Justice Council. He directed me to a young man who I believe had just wrote a, a grant and, and it was in law school. And he had come back to the city of Wilmington to help organizations like Stop the Violence get a 501c3 or a designation. And that individual was Matt Myers. Matt walked us through the process. He took our hands very, uh, very diligent, very kind and very supportive. And I want to report that all 17, 18 years later, the Stop the Violence Coalition is still in existence that has helped thousands of young people, uh, helped them, and some of them have gone to college and done great things in our community. So on behalf of the Stop the Violence Coalition, my wife, Dr. Jay Macklin, Aaron Moore, and all the members and officials of Stop the Violence, we want to publicly thank you for all that you've done for Stop the Violence Coalition. Will you bow with me for the benefit of prayer? Heavenly and most gracious and wise eternal God, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you. Thank you on behalf of all of those who are gathered here today. We thank you for such a beautiful day. It's a day that you have made and you told us to rejoice and to be glad in it. Thank you for the many bountiful and abundant blessings which you have bestowed upon each and every one of us. We give you thanks, God, for life itself and a reasonable measure of health and strength so that we can fulfill the calling that you have on our life in relationships and fellowship and even friendship. Thank you for the ability to be involved in such a useful work, for the honor 
of bearing such an awesome responsibility. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy and your gracious nature. As we assemble here on this morning, on this auspicious and historic occasion, we are reminded that your word directs the citizens that we should obey the governing authorities since you have established those various authorities to promote peace, order, justice within our society. Therefore, we pray today for the various levels of county government, specifically our newly elected Newcastle County Executive, Matt Myers. We also lift up to you today, Father, the newly elected and appointed administration, the officers, each employee of Newcastle County government. We lift up each and every councilmatic representative for those various councilmatic districts within the borders of our beloved county. It is our prayer that you would graciously grant our newly elected executive wisdom to govern admit the conflict of interests and the complexity of issues of our time. I pray that, that you would give him and his administration a sense of the welfare and the true need of our people and the constituents of whom they are elected to serve. I pray that you would provide them with a clear, concise, and compelling vision for the years to come, a vision that paints a preferred picture for all its residents and inclusive of the least, the lonely, and even the left out. I ask you, O oh God, today that you would give them a keen thirst for justice and righteousness. And I pray for the confidence that it would be for fulfilling their task. Father, Give them the ability to work together in harmony, even amid the honest debate, authentic disagreement, and even discord. I pray for a spirit of unity. Gracious God, I ask you that you would provide them with a sense of balance in his life, which will grant him personal peace in his own life and give him joy for the task that he has so willingly accepted. Now, O oh God, and finally I pray for the agenda that is set forth for us here today. Please give all of those the assurance that this is pleasing in your sight and that this is beneficial to those who live, work, play in and around our beloved Newcastle County. I ask all of these and other blessings in the name that is above every name, that in the name of Jesus, I pray, my heart and my soul says amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Father Roger. I'm a Catholic priest at Elizabeth Ann Seton in Bear, Delaware, and I'm very honored to be able to be here to offer a prayer for the children of Newcastle County. Matt, I appreciate you asking me and honored to do this. As I was reading his bio, Matt is a product of the public schools of Newcastle County, as was I, I'm from Krebs and Conrad High School. So I'm asking that as we go forward, we really uh, try to support our schools and do the best we can for our children. I had a fantastic education and we need to give that um, to our children. And that was my undergrad at Delaware was in education. So it's very important that we do that. The other thing that we share that I didn't know until um, Matt came to our church a couple of times, we have a very large Kenyan immigrant community at uh, Seton Parish. Matt spent a year in Kenya. I only spent 10 days. Um, he's very fluent in Swahili, which is quite amazing to see him speak and joke um, in Swahili with our Kenyan community. So when he was there, it showed me that um, he has an insight into the world and language is very important in understanding another culture and another people. So hopefully we can begin 
to share our, our religious languages, our, our secular languages together so that we truly um, know each other. And so I, I do wish him well personally. And on behalf of the Catholic Bishop of Wilmington, Bishop Maluli, the city especially is very important to him. We have many Catholic churches and Catholics in that area and we struggle along with everyone else and we try to make um, everything as best as we can. So um, the bishop extends his wishes and um, we want you to succeed very much and to help all of us um, be stronger together. And so I'll offer this prayer for our children. Lord our God, we pray and beseech you to guide and protect the young people of Newcastle County and indeed throughout the whole world. Be their inspiration and hope. Protect them from dangers that are ever present in our world today. Be with them as they experience both sickness and health, sorrow and joy, loneliness and friendship, failure and success. Gracious God, give them the courage and strength to make the right decisions as they journey through life. Through the power of your loving presence, may the young people of Newcastle County and the world come to know and experience your loving care. And we make this petition in God's holy name. We say, Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to invite to the stage uh, Judge Tolliver to administer the oath, and I'd like to invite to the stage Mrs. Meyer to hold the Bible. We also wanted to invite Matt to take those. <laughs> and I shall take no license and offer no words of comfort or congratulations. Heard that already. Matt, would you please repeat after me? I, Matthew Meyer, do proudly swear. I, Matthew Meyer, do proudly swear to carry out the responsibilities to carry out the responsibilities of the office of Newcastle County Executive of the office of Newcastle County Executive to the best of my ability to the best of my ability freely acknowledging that the powers of this office freely acknowledging that the powers of this office flow from the people I am privileged to represent flow from the people I am privileged to represent I further swear I further swear always to place the public interest always to place the public interest above any special or personal interest above any special or personal interest and to respect the right of future generations and to respect the right of future generations to share the rich historic and natural heritage of Delaware to share the rich historic and natural heritage of Delaware in so doing in so doing I will always uphold and defend I will always uphold and defend the constitutions of my county and my state. The constitutions of my county and my state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, County Executive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much for coming today. Thank you, Judge Tolliver. Thank you to the staff of uh, Garfield Powell for working so hard uh, to put this together. Uh, and of course, to every single one of you for coming out here today. Oh, uh, Judge Tolliver? Happy birthday. Thank you. It's a tremendous opportunity and honor to serve as your county executive. I'm thankful for the trust 
that you've put in me. I understand that with that trust comes a responsibility, an awesome responsibility to lead uh, and to act in the best interests of all communities of our county. And I pledge that uh, my team and I will do so with honesty, with transparency, and with efficiency. Uh, you know, there are, uh, as I look around, there are quite a few people in this room who, uh, about a year ago, when I decided to start this journey, a very small group of people who actually believed I could uh, be standing up here today. Uh, you know, when not many people believe in you, uh, you never forget those that do. And so to you in particular, many of you, uh, many of you are here today, some of you aren't. I just want to particularly say thank you to you. It's something I'll never, ever forget. I know a lot of people in this room as well uh, joined our journey somewhere along its course. Uh, and your support, too, for your support, I want to say thank you. I also understand in this room today there are probably some people who don't support me, who didn't want me to be here. Uh, and I want you to know that I'll be your county executive, too, that I'll listen to you, I'll work with you. And maybe even next time around, I'll earn your support. If, if there is a next time. Well. <laughs> I particularly want to say thank you to one person. Uh, he served this county over four decades. Uh, and that's Tom Gordon. Spent 12 years as county executive. Spent over 20 years as a police officer, waking up every morning to keep us all safe. Anybody who knows Tom Gordon as I've gotten to know him the last few months knows that he cares deeply about Newcastle County. And to him in particular, I want to say thank you. So Newcastle County, founded about 344 years ago, is facing some of its most serious challenges. We have a land use policy that too many think is unfair and unpredictable. We have all this open space for most of our 344 years that is shrinking now. And we got to work desperately to save these open areas. We have emergency services that are stretched more than ever. The volume of calls is increasing dramatically, but the number of our personnel remains the same. We have a state budget deficit, serious, serious state budget deficit. We have an economy in 2017 in our county that looks too much like the economy of last century. We have the disease of heroin and opiate addiction that if you look just over the last few years is looking more and more like an epidemic. And we have kids, young adults, who are solving too many problems with violence by in some circumstances, killing each other. You know, we're at risk of losing an entire generation to violence and to drugs. In fact, in this room today are the Dixon families, the Steed family, the Brooks and Sewell families, all families that, that have lost their loved ones recently, as, soon, as, as recently as last week. Their sons, in some cases their daughters, their cousins, their siblings, their fathers. Yet, I'm optimistic. I think working together, we can do more. President Bill Clinton, to paraphrase him, once said, there's nothing wrong with Newcastle County that we can't fix with what is right with Newcastle County. You know, I know there are, a lot, there are some people in this room and a lot of people around this county who I met during the election cycle, who are close to losing hope. They're facing extraordinary pain. A lot of people who looked at the election as a source of hope, as a source of better days ahead. And I want you to know I'm right there with you. I believe there are better days ahead. It starts with us coming together. It starts with us coming together, being a little more innovative, identifying our problems with a new vision, 
with a new collective solution where we work together. You know, right here in the front row and in back is county council. So many of you, I know so many of you, have invested decades of time and energy in making this county stronger. I'm eager to work together with you to continue on that path. If I could, I'd like to take a minute to ask uh, paramedics to stand up. All paramedics. Don't, don't sit down yet, stay standing. I'd like uh, 911 operators to stand up as well. <laughs> members of the fire service, members of the fire service, stand up. And uh, <laughs> police officers, most of you are sitting down, but police officers, go ahead, stand up, please. While we're at it, county employees. Anybody who's a county employee, stand up. You know, I can, I can stand up here and talk all, stay standing, don't be shy. I can stand up here and talk all I want, but our future depends largely on you. On you. On you waking up every morning, coming to work as many of you have for years and years, and we recognize the sacrifices that your families make, sacrifices for which we all benefit in the county. We owe a great deal of admiration and thanks to you. So I'd like to give you all a round of applause. You know, we can do a lot if we work together. I'm committed to enhancing the spirit of collaboration at every level of county government. I'm excited about collaborating with my team to expand this county, the, the strength and the, the impact it can have on kids like Damon. Damon who, as Father Powell mentioned, was five in 2001. He could be 21 today. There are a lot of other Damons out around our county. A lot of five-year-olds today looking for a better future. I know a lot of you are here, mom and dad, to see me, see me get sworn in. Kind of the joke's on you. It's not about me. It's not about John Carney or Mike Perzicki or me. It's not about us. It's not about uh, the three of us. It's about you and it's about all of us. It's about things we can do together. This government's ultimately yours. And what we accomplish, we'll be able to accomplish together. You know, people living in this county come from all corners of the world. So many of them coming here, choosing to live here. And it's our decision what future we make for ourselves, which problems we solve, and how we solve them. I've been talking for almost a year now. I'm eager to get to work. Thank you, and God bless you. I'd like to invite back to the stage Rabbi Beals to do the benediction. So you'll notice in your program, it said benediction, but there was no name under it. So I don't think it's right that I should be doing the benediction alone. And if we're going to have a government based on inclusion, I'd like to ask all clergy to come join me in, in providing a benediction. If there are other, bened other clergy in the, you know, some of you where you can come up too. <laughs> All right, well, come stand next to me, gentlemen. Um, when we get to a certain point, we're going to do this. I'll get you there. Yeah. Right. We're not there yet. Right. So before we begin, I was, I was listening to Matt, and the name Matt starts with the letter Mem, or, or M. And that's the same letter in Yiddish for the name, or word, Mensch, 
Can you say mensch? Mensch. Mensch is the highest compliment you can give in, in the Jewish faith. It means a person's a really good human being. Mm. So whenever you see Matt go by, you go mensch. mensch. All right. Try one more time. Look at Matt and go mensch. 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 All right. Those are not my prepared remarks. Okay. <laughs> Rabbis are like that. They always have like a prelude before they're going to say what they're going to say. All right. Repeat after me. Hodu. Hodu. Ladonai. Ladonai. Kito. Kito. Ki. 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 Leolam. Leolam. Chazdo. Chazdo. Give thanks. Give thanks. To the eternal. To the eternal. For God's love. God endures forever. It endures forever. You know, walk out my synagogue anytime. <laughs> Rabbana Olam, Master of the Universe, O oh merciful Parent, as we leave this auspicious inauguration of Newcastle County Executive Matt Meyer, we are filled with a sense of new possibilities, of new urgency to tackle our county's challenges, and also a newly lit feeling of light and of hope. Bless us as we go on our way to maintain our enthusiasm, our light, our hope for the struggles and challenges which lie before us. Bring special blessings to Matt Meyer and his administration and all the hard-working public servants of Newcastle County. As you bless us Remind us that our elected officials and our public servants cannot tackle these challenges alone. It will take all of us adding our light to theirs to meet the problems that await us. But we must always remember we are not alone. We have each other and we have you. And so we turn back to our tradition 3,200 years in the making, and conclude with words from the fourth book of the Torah, the book of Numbers, as we invoke the powerful threefold Kohenite priestly blessing. And so I'm going to ask my clergy members, this is sometimes called Spock hands, but before Leonard Nimoy, there was this. So please, gentlemen, your hands a blessing. Looking good. Looking good. I get this ring. May God bless you and keep you. May the Eternal One make God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the merciful one lift up God's countenance upon you and grant you peace. And let us all say a heartfelt Amen. Amen. everyone for coming this morning following the ceremony from 12 to 3 will be an open house at the county government center anyone is welcome to come by and you can get two minutes with the county executive to share what's on your mind i would like to invite you to join us for our citizen celebration tomorrow evening at rockwood park starting at seven o'clock you can still rsvp online inauguration.ncc2017.com and then finally i want to thank the treehouse cafe from wilmington delaware who provided this morning's refreshments and you're welcome to help yourself following this morning's ceremony. Thank you all for coming and please be safe and have a great day. Well, I feel good, you know, all along. This for me was about honesty and transparency and efficiency in government. And starting off from today, we're, we're trying to do that. We've actually opened our doors today to the county executive's office where anybody general public could come in and had a few minutes, no appointment necessary to come and talk to me. I think that's what government's about. It's not this desk and this chair, it's beautiful and it's nice to sit here, uh, 
but this is the desk and the chair and an office owned by the people of the county. So we got to make sure what we're doing is in service to them at all times. Okay, so everybody coming in wasn't really county employees, they were just people from the community wanting to meet you? Everything, all the above. People from the community wanted to meet me, county employees, anyone that wanted to talk to me about anything. Some people just came to say hi, wanted a picture taken, and never seen the office wow. before. Um, do, you, do you have any more? Do you have any goals or details about your first hundred days that you would like to share with the people at home? Well, the first thing we're trying to do is, is put in the highest quality team uh, that we can find. I think we owe that to the county taxpayer. Then we're looking uh, at various areas of county government, the county functions, whether it's policing or land use or parks or libraries figuring out how we can take our strengths, the things we do well now, and emphasize them, do, do that better, and look at the things we're not doing so well and see how we can improve. All right, thank you so much, Matt. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thanks, guys.